You've no doubt at least heard of Fontenelle, the former home of country music star Barbara Mandrell. Well, if you haven't been there yet, now might be a good time to do so. Rob Wiles went to White's Creek recently and discovered that while the mansion is still there for exploring, it's now surrounded by other tempting attractions. Barbara Mandrell is cool, all right, a star since she was just a child. She's appeared with just about everyone you can name over the years and still had time to be happily married, raise children, and keep a beautiful home, Fontenelle, which we can all visit now, led by singing tour guides like Stephen Whitson, who even wrote a song about the place. Welcome to Fontenelle former home to Barbara Mandrill, where everything's alive and well, and all things are country. I know you were amazed when you first walked in to see this home built by Barbara's husband, Ken. They lived here for 14 years with their three little bears, the dead knees. So welcome to Fontenelle former home to Barbara Mandrill, where everything's alive and well, and everything is country. Welcome to Fontenelle. It's not the family's home anymore, but you might still run into family members there. Daughter Jamie Dudney Here's works here. Room, this huh? is my old bedroom. Wow. Yeah. So you what a place, huh? Great, yeah, it was great a, stuff in here. a lot of great memories. And actually, when we moved out of the house in 2002, my clowns and dolls and everything went into storage. Oh, because really? what 20 year old wants to decorate <laughs> their, their place with clowns and dolls? Uh -huh. So it was in storage for eight years. Mm -hmm. And when I learned that the owners were opening up the house again and I got on board, I got to bring all my things back and put them in the original location that they once were in. So well, now, it's uh, a lot of fun. It's homey touches like a little girl's dolls or her cheerleading jacket or a dress her mama wore on the Grand Old Opry the night before this particular baby was born that make Fontenelle seem, well, homey, which is the way it was planned by Barbara Mandrell and husband Ken Dudney. And even though it's a big place, it feels intimate. And I think because a family lived here for 14 years, the home was built on love and and God, and he definitely still resides here in this home, and uh, just wonderful memories. And it doesn't feel cold at all. Um, and maybe it is the warmth of the logs. Actually, mom and dad chose these logs. They come from Montana. They're called larch pine, and they love these logs because of the dual tone, the dual colors in the logs. And it's, it's a piece of art. The house sits on 136 acres, which has all been restructured a bit to make Fontenelle a place where you could spend the day. There's a lot of green space with hiking trails and a professional caliber disc golf course free to everyone, even those who are not necessarily professional caliber players. There's a large outdoor amphitheater where big name performers of every type come to play. Have you ever had a French style blush before? Well, I can't say I have, but it sounds like a pleasant experience. Like this wine tasting room and bistro, a recent addition according to Jean-Pierre Dancero, general manager of the Fontenelle. We're proud to bring in our partners at Natchez Hill Vineyard. And uh, Mr. Odom and his wife are the owners of Natchez Hills Winery down in Hampshire, Tennessee. And we are an official satellite tasting room. It's going to be dry and tart, think Granny Smith Apple. So you can go in and choose some wines to taste and hopefully walk out the door with a bunch of bottles. You can find more bottles at still another area on the Fontenelle property, Pritchard's Distillery. They have a myriad of, of, of products down there from rums to you know, whiskey and to bourbons and, and all kinds of wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, Sweet Lucy Cream is is a vanilla infused bourbon, which is just truly amazing. They are a distillery there. They have a full working still. 
It is actually unique still. It's an umbilic still, uh, which is something you'd find in the Cognac region of France. So there's not too many of those around here. After you've seen all that the Fontenelle offers, it might be time for a bite to eat. No problem. Cafe Fontanella. It is our Italian restaurant, full bar, wonderful music, amazing Italian American dishes, and it is a huge menu. So you'll need a few visits to try a good sampling of everything we have. So after all the food and fun, you don't even have to face a drive home. Just a walk to the uh, Inn at Fontanelle, which was the former Southern Living Idea House, has now been uh, recreated into a micro hotel and uh, six bedrooms there, six suites. So we focus a lot on the experience and a high-end service to our customers. And not only do you get to see the Southern Living Idea House, you can stay overnight in it. So many different things to do here. It's hard to pin the Fontenelle down, which Jean-Pierre says makes sense since the place was once the home of a lady who didn't like to be limited, Barbara Mandrell. She really crossed a bridge of a lot of different diverse things. And, so we thought, well, what better way to have a property in the same mindset? So whether it's fine dining, wine, hiking, you know, accommodations, uh, history, music, we combine all those things, and I think that's what makes Fontenelle special. I was country when country wasn't cool.